Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. Well, something a little different today. Um, as is sometimes the case for me, I'm running around on just a couple hours sleep. And I thought I'd make a video, uh, sort of give you an example of what it's like to attempt to, uh, you know, work with a firearm when you're extremely fatigued. So, uh, I know that's going to seem a little weird, and the video may seem a little disjointed because I'm I'm kind of tired, and um, and uh, so I might ramble a little bit, but hopefully this will be compelling. Uh, so let me just share a little bit about me. I'm a lifetime insomniac. I'm I I don't mean I have trouble sleeping. I mean um, my brain chemistry is such that even as a small child I didn't I didn't sleep. I almost never napped. I drove my mom nuts, and. Um, all of my life, I, I have slept maybe three nights a week naturally, um, and even those were fitful. I can remember at times being up for three days straight, just simply not being able to sleep. Not that I didn't have the opportunity to, I just couldn't do it. Um, and uh, frequent periods of time where, where life was just a blur. Um, about 15 years or so ago, I guess, maybe 12, um, I had a doctor recommend that I try a product called Ambien because um, I just did, didn't, you know, I tried all the natural pathy, all the, all of the stuff that you would expect, um, which is, you know, typical for somebody with the, the, this kind of insomnia you hear about. Um, and none of it worked because it isn't really a, a lifestyle problem, it's a brain chemistry problem. So. Um, I will lay down and um, simply not cross that threshold, threshold between uh, wakefulness and sleep. You know, that, that feeling where you're falling asleep. So, you know, if you've ever watched somebody fall asleep, you see them jump or jerk. They, they have the sensation that they're falling. That's why they call it falling asleep. And I can go for days without ever experiencing that. Um, and... Um, so I, you know, ran across this, the the product Ambien, and now you you go out and read, and and there's all these crazy side effect stories. Let me tell you, I've been taking it 15 years. I've never had any of those issues. I don't sleepwalk and go down and drive my car naked. Um, and I, I think my neighbors will attest that they are very grateful that none of those things are true. Um, uh, it, it's been a miracle drug for me uh, because uh, my productivity after a day or so of sleep is just in the toilet. So um, it, it changed my life in a lot of ways. Uh, it helped me advance as a human being because, uh, you know, my concentration was better and, and uh, my, my thought processes were, are always better with sleep. So uh, the problem with it is, is that a certain amount of time on that drug and you become dependent on it. You need it to sleep. Um, which for me is fine because without it, I wasn't sleeping anyway. So better to sleep than not to sleep. Um, but it puts you into a pattern. I have to kind of go to bed at the same time every night, wake up at the same time every day, roughly. And if I don't do that, I can get into uh, uh, kind of this weird cycle. And last night was one of those. I, I fell asleep for about 20 minutes and woke up. I was completely awake, 100%, and could not get back to sleep until uh, about 5 a.m. And uh, I slept from 5 a.m. till... I don't know about seven or eight, and so I'm I'm pretty tired. Uh, so I thought, what what better way to celebrate uh, a really bad night's sleep than or almost no no night's sleep than to come out and shoot some guns? So one of the things my my lovely uh, camera girl mentioned was, um, in reality, this is three nights of not sleeping. Um, we we've had the flu running through the house, and so on top of it all, I'm I'm dehydrated and. Um, and uh, it's actually been several nights where sleep has not been right. Um, we spent one night uh, up late with, uh, with uh, my son throwing up all over my wife. And, and anyway, been a lot of fun, um, but just uh, to make the point that I'm flipping exhausted. Welcome. Um, so what are we gonna do? Well, I've got uh, my uh, Thompson Center Dimension rifle out. And um, I just remounted the scope on it, and I need to zero that in at 100 yards. And so I'm going to do that. And then we're going to go down, and I'm going to try and shoot some pistol for accuracy. 
Um, you know, after about one day, you're, it, this is a, a, a mental game after one day of not sleeping. You're, it's 90% it's mental, 10% physical. Um, adrenaline will get you through a lot of one day. By the second day, you're, you know, the 80-20 rule. It's still largely mental, and adrenaline will push you through. Third day, and being sick, um, it, it's a good part of this is a, a physical exhaustion as well. So um, one of the things that, you know, I'll, I'll ask my wife to do is really keep a close eye on me um, just uh, for safety's sake to make sure, you know, I'm not pointing the muzzle at the neighbor's house and things like that. So um, I would say don't try this at home, but, uh, yeah, don't try this at home. Don't stay up a bunch and go out and shoot guns, but I'm going to do it just for you. All right, let's do it. Bad, a little high into the left. A little high. Windage looks good. We're just a little bit high. Down four clicks. Your dexterity sucks when you're tired like this. Loading magazines isn't fun. Not a semi automatic rifle. Primer punched, it didn't go off. Come down a few more.
is there. We're just down to not being on a lead sled. I think this is pretty close. It don't get any better than that. That was dead on, dead center. Beautiful shot. Not bad for no sleep. I think we'll celebrate that. We'll shoot a can of cheese. This rifle is on. Shoot a can of cheese? Should we shoot a can of cheese? <laughs> I think we should. Let's do it. Booyah! All right, first we're going to try for a little accuracy, and uh, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm shooting guns, that's right. See how I can do. Definitely not my best shooting. Let's do another round. It's better. The mechanics are much harder to uh, concentrate on when you're tired. Well, not too bad. Let's set up some steel and see how we do. Ooh, that's actually really tough to do. When you're tired, it's it's tough.
requiring a lot more concentration. I'm going to do some draws, but for safety's sake, I'm just going to tuck my shirt in. I don't want to have to worry about catching on my shirt. Really for demonstration purposes only. Although, you know, if you really want to train uh, fatigued, just stay up for a few days. Completely missed. Mechanics are all wrong. Speed is slow. Alright, well, there you go. Um, all in all, I think the cautionary tale here is uh, when you're really fatigued, um, you want to think twice about picking up your firearm. Uh, I've done this, I, I've, if there's one thing I think I'm, I'm potentially an expert at in life, that's it's going without sleep. I've done it a lot since I was, well, for as long as I can remember. Um, I've, I've uh, I've got lots of coping mechanisms uh, that will allow me to do, to function quite a bit. Um, just, you know, if you want to call it practice, I guess. Um, and so I felt confident that I could manage enough dexterity and slow myself down, uh, at least have the cognitive responsibility to slow myself down enough to, uh, to be able to pull the video off. Um, you know, uh, being fatigued in this way, being exhausted like this, is just as bad as being drunk. I would no more consider uh, concealed carry, you know, off the property here uh, with my gun uh, than I would be in, you know, concealed carry when I was drunk. Um, my judgment is is impaired. I wouldn't drive like this. I'm just too tired. Um, and so, you know, that's just something you got to consider. Um, it, you know, I've, I've, having been like this all my life, I've, you know, had to work like this and, and done a lot of things that I, I probably wish I hadn't of, um, but I did just didn't know any better. It was, there was, I didn't know any different. It's, it's how, it's what life was. Um, and so hopefully this is a, a no cost to you cautionary tale. I think you can see in the videos, well, I don't know, I haven't seen the videos yet. But hopefully it translates to just, um, just how hard it was for me to, to pull the gun out of the holster and just shoot it. And um, I'm at about my you know, standard 45 feet here. Um, I missed a lot more than I normally would have. I had to slow down to, I'm going to guess it, like 50% to, to pull it all off. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, Hopefully this has got some meaning to you, and um, I'm uh, hopefully going to get some sleep tonight. All right, always remember anyone can shoot. Anybody can have fun doing it, but don't do it when you're really, really tired. All right, we'll see you next time.